You're a shameful but piece of shit. That's what you like about a fetish, right? A fetish, yeah. if ever, it's all accepted, then it's not like... Kinky. It's your Agreed. kink. Your kink yeah. is that people are like, ew, you're nasty. Right. Subscribe to the podcast, KFC Radio on YouTube. Bang. <laughs> I got, oh, I was going to film you. Wait, hold on. Uh, competing TikToks. Oh, <laughs> You guys are the best laughers in town. Like, you're fake laughers. I don't care. I was gonna say we are faking it. You are. Well, I my am. okay. My, I my I just hired a. First of all, wait, hold on. Whoa! Uh, that was gross. Were you like filming that? It, I do like to do it on on camera. So I'll oh, do it again. We, we were running. Don't worry. We're good. Was that we a got it. Or a retainer? Oh my god, I should get a grill. <laughs> I, I, they I, should make my mouth guard a fucking grill. This. Bro, Just someone with those kind of sun, uh, glasses, sunglasses, those sunglasses, that, whatever, that's a whatever. grill I person. Don't know what you're I have so many options. Yeah. What is well, this? Well, you know I punctuate jokes with glasses. Yeah, you, with do. you always dress like an ass. I'm an eyewear. <laughs> I'm a prop comic. Those you are. Those are my Louis Vuitton. <laughs> they're, real. they're real, fake and real. Right? <laughs> and then these are my actual glasses. These are your fucking name These are dirty. Yeah, those are my merch. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then these are my actual glasses, but they're transition lenses. I've transitioned into the uh, age where say, transition lenses are like Transgender cool. lenses Don't over fucking here? roll your eyes. <laughs> no, honestly, we get it. You're young. You think transition lenses are lame. <laughs> but you're going to hit an age where all of a sudden you go, when did these become cool? And then you realize, oh, I became less cool. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> they turned. They're dirty. They're very dirty. Yeah, they, they are. They look good on you, though. Thank you. I feel like all guys look like serial killers in those ones. Not that that's a bad thing. This, uh, it, was there like, a serial killer who wore these? Because it feels yeah. like... And it is like... Yeah. And guys do like girls in that, these. Yeah. And I think it's because there's like a... You look like a boy. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. It's like masculine. You know you yeah. guys are a little bit like... Everyone's like... Everyone's kind of want to jerk off to a guy. You're like, eh, <laughs> yeah. what do we do? Yeah, it's Pride Month, you know? What are you going to do? It is. Yeah, no, we, <laughs> we actually do that are male. Honestly, you're being loud <laughs> with your feelings. I can feel your vibes. He's drunk is the problem. Sit down. Sit down. Have a drink. Sit down. Give him a shot. No, he's literally already drunk. So we don't need... Give him He's not drunk enough. Anymore. Don't really leave. <laughs> you have to do social. Just oh be God, sober and do your job. Sober up quickly guy. and do What's your job. What's social man? What's your name? Mm. Zach. Zach, you are wasted. Yeah, he's shit faced. <laughs> he was like, it was a stumper asking. Him I know. Name. That's when you know you're fucked up. Sometimes when you ask him stuff, he goes like, I just have a. Wait, is this <laughs> a is this a brand you're you're oh, selling or? Yeah, this is ours. Yeah. Parcel, you guys sell parcel is a brand. Uh, uh, Do you work use it on your penis too? By the way, skin's looking great too. I, you look great, but there's really yeah. there's a we, star. We, in the room. we just had a <laughs> there's a star in the room. Okay, we just had a we had and another interview, right and she was saying <laughs> she was saying how how his skin is glowing because he has like a eight serum started a routine, routine now. He yeah. has like eight things that he puts on. His it was skin actually okay. Whitney well, made fun of me so much that like because I didn't wash my face at all. I feel you like I just never. But I think that's actually good for. I think it's like that's actually enough a good about start. this. Yeah. You're getting hot. Like yeah, exponentially yeah. hotter by the day. Guys, I'm just learning my angles. I was thinking, so I have a theory that there's Stay no such tan. thing as good looking or ugly. It's just rich and poor. And I think you got some money in the bank oh and you're getting God, hotter. Oh my God, you guys, there is a glow up happening. Yeah, for real. <laughs> there's a joy, a happiness that comes from the inside. Whoa, when you're, whoa, when you're whoa, flying whoa. first. Yeah, when you're not you're living like, in a car. Yeah, I like, know. I it wasn't like... quite a trip. But I think I was cute in the car. I was like, look at me. I had like Cheetos on my face. I was like, ah, that's I'll suck my your pillow. dick. It's my pillow. I'll suck your dick for gas money. It's my rent. It's my rent. No, you're for sure getting hotter now. No, I wasn't sucking dick. That's why I was in the car. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was never if you, willing to cover If you're living in a car never... while you're sucking dick, you, you got Josh a lot Josh Adam problems. Myers the other day was like, you'd make a million dollars on OnlyFans. Yeah. I was like, it's not going to happen, baby. Why I'm not? I'm going to do it. Never. Jo Josh and Kevin are the two life... greatest OnlyFans promoters on, on planet Earth. Yeah. Who has he gotten to do it? Well, his ex. Wait, Josh, I know. And Kevin. Uh, but I'm all, Kevin, I think yeah. everybody in the world should What did you think fans. I forgot his name? Was, no, I just said Kevin. Josh and Kevin, then you said Josh and who? <laughs> when, okay, by the way, he texted me the other day. Oh, this which, bitch. Where's my camera? This bitch. Okay, I'm always looking at the wrong camera, but I'm always like, guys. Um, so he texted me the other day to be like, hey, can you come in later? Which, by the way, I had no clue what time I was coming in. I, didn't I had a it. feeling of that. Nothing was but, even in my calendar. Yeah. But um, I'm cr like, I crusty at seven in the morning, and I just texted back, I'm going to be in New York because I just read the yeah, message. Yeah, I, I said, can and you come like, in later? And she like, was like, oh, sorry, I can't. I'm going to be in New York. I was like, I'm the person you're talking to in New York, dick. <laughs> but I, it wasn't like a, I don't know you or know your number or that type of stuff. It was literally like, you, you're a fucking asshole that just... Woke me up in the. I'm, I was like this, like. <laughs> Dude, there, there was a there was a period of time where Kevin and I, very often only communicated like like ships in the night. Where like, cause Kevin, it was a time difference. He gets yeah. I, and he's I got kids. On, when my kids were yeah. really babies, 
Like he would be not just emotional babies. <laughs> Rude, don't talk shit on your kids. <laughs> they there was like very few. There's a couple hours like where we were awake at the same time. And right, Kevin right? Kevin would text me. I'd reply like at the midnight. Next day. It was like it was so. I weird. would send him a text like being like I was about to go to bed at like eight o'clock with my kids. And then, you know, or he would text me. I wouldn't get it till the morning. I would text him at like five. I'd be like, I'll catch you at noon. It was legit like having someone on the West Coast. It was I wild. dated a drug addict. This is very similar. <laughs> I dated a drug addict. And he wasn't really doing drugs anymore, but he still like just had that still. Yeah, yeah, like, it's like, lifestyle, he couldn't yeah. like, he was on Kratom, which was like sort of, you're not a drug addict anymore. <laughs> what is the deal with Kratom? I don't want, I'm, but it was like, he was on, he, before I was dating him, he was on like Oxy. I don't know what well, he was. Kratom is now getting promoted. Like uh, all the, the Skanks guys are like brought to you by Kratom. I'm like, it's not. A fucking, yeah. <laughs> is that surprising? No, I mean, if, yeah, any, if the shoe like, fits. Like, if, if you can't get a Monster Energy drink uh, sponsor, <laughs> you go Kratom. You go Kratom. Kratom first. But so That's wait, the so starter what was he doing? drug. Um, so he would, he still had that. So, okay, so he did, he was on the pills. Then he went on Suboxone, which I guess is like supposed to get you off. I don't fucking know. I was like. Mm -hmm. able to handle it on my own. <laughs> um, I didn't need divine intervention from the Lord and the doctors. I was able to just sort of pray my way back into being a good person. <laughs> he, so he was all fucked up. and So then he was on Kratom and we would go get it at like the smoke shop and he would just... Like I was the one cleaning, which is a tr if I'm the clean one in the relationship, like uh, we live problem. in like a crack house, it's really bad. Like there were pizza boxes. I had to go back in there after we broke up. I just whenever I break up with someone, I just abandoned my stuff and just moved to the other coast. Yeah, like with that. him, I stayed on the I stayed on the west coast, but I I just gave him the. I was like, mm, you can have it. Like gave literally, me like we broke up years ago, and he just. I think he just, like, maybe six months ago, was like, here's some of your stuff. I was like, throw it in Never the trash. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no rich yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> I fly first now. I don't need my own <laughs> hand-me-downs. Thank you. How does that feel? <laughs> to you're get rich. money? Yeah. Like, last time we talked, we we kind of were saying, like, you're on your way, but I yeah. think, like, you're there now. And I'm it's there. Like, There's still room for improvement. I'm Always, always. Sky's the like, limit, you yeah. know? Sky Never miles is the limit. Money. Ab above <laughs> the money thing, though, you mentioned something very specific that I... Uh, caught my ear was you said happiness. Yeah, oh, I'm in. What's pure that bliss. about? Yeah, I'm in bliss. Well, I mean, well, I do like I do a lot of work energy on about you. But oh, like, guys, I'm. It's it's borderline obnoxious. Yeah, it's, you're borderline, like, it's borderline personality. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no diagnoses either. Isn't that so fun these days? Everyone's got something wrong with them. Well, I, I got ADD. Days. I got ADD. I was gonna say you just what you mean? You, like a doctor hasn't written down because you I've got, never you got, got stuff. Well, my my older brother was always like you're bipolar, and I was like I'm not fucking bipolar, <laughs> or am I? And then I went to the doctor, and the doctor was like. You're not like I didn't ask, but they yeah. would give. Me, I went to several because I was like, but I don't, I don't have a <laughs> nice try. But See? I was gonna say, wait, with his ex boyfriend. Okay, so my he had the drug addict like hours, so he would. I would wake up at a regular hour, like not in a comedian's hour. I'd wake up at like eleven or twelve or mm, something. Sure. I go out, I do yoga, <laughs> I do the laundry, I'd like do different things. I come back. And he would just be waking up like when I was cooking dinner. And like five o'clock. And so he'd be like, shit. he'd be like, I have no time alone. <laughs> You're always every. I'm like, I'm gone for a full day every day, you psycho. I'm gone for a full day. Your alone time is when I'm sleeping and you're jerking off over my body. That's your alone time, okay? Like, How I'm gone. How long did gone. you date this guy? Like two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was weird, though, because right. I did love him, and he's a good guy. He's just fucked up. Yeah. But you know when you just get, like, self-esteem, and you're like, oh, Never I don't mind. Yeah. want to deal with people's problems. Well, yeah. even, even if you don't have some big transformation, when you get out of a relationship and you're like, what was oh, I doing? I oh, the freedom's amazing. You but have just to like just the, date someone. Like my all your friends are like, yeah, man, we saw that for like years. Oh like God. we know. And no, it's no. like, oh my God. My sister-in-law, I go, I go, oh, we broke up. And she goes, oh, thank God. Finally. And I went, yeah. oh, were you like worried about me? She's like, every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were day. waiting every fucking day. Because you're this. used to someone's like drug addict, like demeanor and stuff. But other people are like, this is like surprising and shocking. I knew it wasn't like a dangerous person. Yeah, yeah, right, like right, that, right, right, right. But I'm them. not even talking about something extreme like that. Just like when you're, you know, you're dating someone that's not a good fit or you guys fight too much or whatever and like everybody knows and it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, when you're yeah, not dick. being yourself, you wasted you're like, like years. But for then this. it's one of those things too where like it's such a trope that like people don't like your significant other or whatever. But then also there are times, I feel like it happens more often than not where they just shut their fucking mouths 
And then you break up and you're like, I knew something was no, off. No. And you're like, well, the well, fuck? Well, I'm, I'm the one. I know, the one but that I don't does, say something. I know all, a lot of times, but, you don't but I don't get in, in, involved in people's shit. they have to come shit, to it but, themselves. Yeah. They have to figure it out themselves. Well, yeah, you always talk about the rally. You know, you, you start to say, like, I don't like your girlfriend. It's like, well, I'm digging my heels in harder because yeah. fuck you. This like, team, I, this, like, this, this is so a your guy friends, team. So your guy friends are wearing heels, you're saying. What's that? So your guy friends are wearing high heels. Yeah, of course. And these girls don't let them. You know what I mean? These girls don't let them. They're like, stop stealing my shoes. I, I know okay. I steal your underwear. I um <laughs> really are you found with underwear on your face? I often? no, I did it. I did it one time. I just dirty always, or I, clean. I always dirty or clean. It. They were clean. They were clean. I always reference it. I just popped them on as a joke, and He's I've, I've literally since. never gone back to it. But like I popped them on as a joke one time, and I was like, "Fuck, this is crazy comfortable." <laughs> it was like a, like a lace thong. And I was like, "Why don't you just where you put your in? dick though in your balls? Where I put my dick basically in my ass. You kind of got to tuck it. <laughs> I do have a theory. I've been I've been working out on stage where I do think all guys are trans because the amount of times I've dated a guy. And they wake up or get out of the shower and immediately are mangining. <laughs> like you guys love a little tuck tuck. It's I like I don't think I, I've done I that did, in front of a girl. I oh I've done. Yes, but you do it. it. Yeah. But you do it. It's it's crazier to do it alone. That's more trans. Do you understand? No, no. I, I, That's more I, your I like, actually, your heart. I, you do it for guys. You show them your chicken heart. I don't think I, I think I have done it. Uh, probably like I for chicken heart. Chicken heart? I, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, I get yeah, it. I just yeah. never heard I mean, it. I, I'm not going to sit here and say I haven't done a mangina because I definitely have, but I definitely have not done it in front of a girl. Definitely haven't done it in front of a guy. I probably did it once to just be like, okay, that's what it looks once. like. Once. Just I, like he only wore underwear once. Like, like, no, I, there's no you. way. Well, I tell liars. you. There's I no did. way. There's, yeah, you're right. There's no way it was once, but I also am not like, I, yeah, I tuck it all the time. I don't know. I probably just a couple in, like, times along the way to been like, oh, that's what it looks like that pussy. Yeah. When I played sports, <laughs> I talked it all the time. Like, when I played yeah, sports, well, you guys it and the hockey teams. It is a fun teams, little sport. But like, like, teams, like you're like doing stuff in the locker room and you're fucking making all weird shit with the locker room. I think... Uh, one of the weirder things I've done with my dick was I went through a phase where I I would send like sexts, but like I would draw on my dick. First. Oh, I think that's fun though. It's creative. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, like, like, like a, a message. Like that like would that. the message would be on the dick. No, 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 no. It was like an art. It's not a piece of art. Like, oh. it would, it would, like, like, like the picture you would draw on the picture or on the actual penis. Oh uh, yes, 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 yes. On the penis. On the penis. So like I had like mm -hmm. one I have some things in common with you. <laughs> <laughs> I myself have started signing ball sacks. At, I sign people's deformities. Interesting. Deformities Wait, is a whoa. harsh word, but <laughs> You're talking I about do, the actual ball sack, not a picture, Yes, right? but like, I consider I consider ball sacks a natural deformity that <laughs> yeah, yeah. everybody's born with that. Yeah. But like but I sign like webbed toes. I sign people How do you sign signing a ball sack? Got, you got, but the you, first you time I, when I first when I first it? did it, I didn't think about the bat wing and yeah. I just kind of poked at it and gave it like a oh. Hitler mustache. <laughs> but then now that I have them bat wing it and it's like there's no greater power on this earth than seeing your own John Hancock on that sack. <laughs> I was like, I own you, bitch. I own you. And I make them do it publicly. Like, if they want to do it, everyone has to kind of watch. They can cover their penis with, like, a Red Bull. Yeah, and yeah. To, like... <laughs> Where but does they happen? like it. This they happens uh, after, stage, after shows on, on, stage, stage, on stage. or in the meet and greet, yeah. yeah. Wow. That you is, gotta be so a mine nut is a little job more, to Mine was a little more artsy. I would do, like, yeah. I would, like, almost like a, like a hot dog. Yeah. We have the balls on either side. Yes, yes, yes. And then yes. I, I would draw like uh, the, the the one I I went to the most. I, I have to go back to the well. There's only so much you can do with a penis. So would you uh, send? You would send used dick pics. The uh, same dick pic to yeah, several girls. Yeah, for sure, for okay. sure. Yeah. yeah, he's a big recycler. Yeah, I, I, I haven't taken a dick pic in like ten years. It's just the fucking. Exactly. I've, that was one of my most when I used to What's send my, nudes and stuff like when I was you know. <laughs> when I was out there. <laughs> when I was out there having fun. Um, I once had a guy who. My boyfriend, I was in the shower and he like went through my computer. It was like before you could even go through phones. Yeah, yeah. He like went through my computer. He was on a desktop. Yeah, he literally was like, what is this? And I was like, why? I was so mad he went through my thing, but he was like all upset. I'm like, what are you upset about? And he's like, I found this thing like for Mark, who was my boyfriend before him, this folder for Mark. And I go, well, what? I, of course I had a boyfriend I was sending pictures of my ass to before you. And he was like, yeah, no, but it's the same picture. Yeah, <laughs> yep, gotcha. I was like, it was good lighting. It's a good picture, yeah. 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 Great, Once on. my dick stopped growing, I was like, I'm not going to keep taking my pants off all the time. Like, <laughs> I'll have this picture, I'll send So this is when you were really young? This is this is when your dick was still growing. Yeah, dude. No, I was a late bloomer. I, I grew like till I was like nineteen. Wow. <laughs> um, You're like, let's make it legal. Yeah. <laughs> There's no kitty porn floating around, okay? <laughs> no, I the first one I ever took, I've told this, the first one I ever took was on a slide phone. I was like a sophomore in high school. I honestly don't think I'd hit puberty yet. And that picture's out there. Thank God we only had pagers when I was in high school. Let's just say that. Six nine six nine nine one. Trying to find the Hank picture. Hank? 
Oh, with one guy uh, here. He wants. He wants like drew like a whole surfing. It was thing. a Snapchat. He, but he, that he was. Stood, but mine was put, like mine was a. Like, yeah, was on he put his picture the, like yeah. this or like mm. dick and balls yeah. out. But he like drew a whole little. Like, I think that's great. Around it. Yeah. Jose Canseco uh, scribbles out his ball sack when he sends news. Oh. I, I don't know if we can say that on a podcast, can we? <laughs> allegedly, Jose yeah. Canseco. Yeah, allegedly, Jose Canseco says that. Because does he have a shriveled up like steroids ball sack? That's what we're thinking. Yeah. Well, I pixelate my feet. It's not because my feet are gross. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. It gets so mad at me. You know what? You know what too is like so many girls. Not so many girls that them. I see. I've seen the occasional girls like they'll throw a sensor it over their toes or yeah. whatever as like a yeah. uh, because yeah. I didn't get a pedicure. But I think what's happening is that's gonna. I think the, the foot fetish. Is now already, they want to jerk off to. Now them. it's gonna be like, come on! It's, it's like it's like the heel back in the day, right? With well, like the. I'm not the only one. Scarlet letter. When you couldn't show your your ankles, like her ankles was hussy behavior. Yeah, I'm not the only. You're saying one. seeing the the feet is going to be the not forbidden it is thing. More like, well, that's on, like I mean, the, with, with all this like anonymous porn, like faceless porn, it's like I, I'm staring at your asshole, but I just want to see like the bridge of your nose. Oh, I because just like gaze you into your eyes. Yeah, whatever you don't show <laughs> me. I gaze but I into see. your eyes that aren't brown. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I know it is funny. It's like people, but. I guess you're not showing your asshole. You're showing a asshole if your face isn't in it. You're like, I'm just sharing an asshole. Yeah, if you're showing asshole. your asshole, that's like, I'm showing my dad's daughter's asshole if my face is in it. Do you know what I mean? I'm showing my family a Letterman asshole to the world. That's not fair. That's, I will tell you, that's... one time I was at the gynecologist. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm in stirrups, okay? It's disgusting. Everything's horrible. Um, I just went for a routine checkup. Everything's fine. Okay. I don't have any STDs yet. And, um, but the guy, the doctor was older. It was a guy doctor and he was older and I had never had a doctor stick their finger in my ass. Like, so, but he just stuck his ass? finger in my, yes. And it was like, I talked to my mom and she's like, oh, they do like the older doctors did that. What? Back in the day, I don't know why. Because, because they were they molesting can. you. Yeah, because they were like, oh, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> oh, we also have to check out your ass. I don't want to brag. Never not molested. Never not been molested. I've been cute at every angle. <laughs> every in every every That's position. That's the brand. Never not molested, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I've been cute my whole life, um, and I hadn't even like shaved or anything. But anyway, so he stuck his finger in my asshole, and then while his finger was in my asshole, he goes, "Wait a second, are you Tim Letterman's sister?" And Tim is my older brother. And I was like, yes. Oh, that's not a joke? No, he was dead serious. And he like pulled his finger out and he was like, I felt that I know. <laughs> he goes, I know your brother. I, his his son was in my brother's frat. So his dad used to come like party with him at the frat. Holy shit. So he's sticking so fingers in awkward. assholes, still hanging out with frat kids. Like, this guy's a cool doctor. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's cool. But it was funny because my brother had had like an asshole thing, but I don't think that's how he figured <laughs> what? it out. But the timing of it was just crazy. He just realized it, it clicked right when he was yeah, inside. Yeah, that feels like I felt that little He lump. was shocked. He that's was shockering me. Yeah. That's a Letterman. Uh, that's a Letterman. Is it asshole. Shaka? Shocker. 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 Yeah, he was shockering me. Shocker. It's a hard R. Yeah. That's the only hard R we're still allowed to say. <laughs> it's actually racist if you say shaka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were never allowed to say the hard R. No. no you grew up in a pretty strict household then, huh? My, <laughs> we, my dad we, was like, we never say it. We, we <laughs> write it a lot on the walls <laughs> of the neighbors. How about this? We, we scratch it door. in the neighbors' cars. Yeah. But, <laughs> guys. I, I, I had jokes, one time. Jokes. Cheese day. Cheese day. <laughs> I had one time where I, I went water. to a... Um, I went to a friend's house, and they were allowed to say words such as that. Yeah. And the father said, do you guys want the C slur for Asian folks word tonight, uh, for dinner tonight. Yes. And I was such, I was so young that I didn't know it was a slur. I'd never heard that yeah. word before. I just thought that was maybe something you called Chinese people. Yeah. Chinese. Actually, I thought it was the food itself. I thought yeah. it was like Chinese food. So like weeks later, we're at my house and I'm, again, I'm like probably six, seven, whatever, something like that. And I was like, Oh. To my family, it's like, yo, can we get mm. blank food for dinner? We call it Gillis. We call it, can we get Gillis? <laughs> <Shane> Gillis food? <laughs> and my mom was like, what did you just say? And she sat me down and explained to me that that word actually meant penis. So I thought I was, she's like, do you that want to eat? Just again to never say it again. Manipulative she was like, yeah. do you want to say, do you want people to think you want penis food? And then. Little homophobic, honestly. Little homophobic, yeah. <laughs> she's like, do you really want to tuck that C word in between your legs in the morning all the time? <laughs> and then for, until I, I think I was like 17 when I learned what the slur actually meant. I just thought my whole life. That, I, I mean, penis. yeah, like manipulative and, and it got you to not say the word, but I just 
wildly confusing yeah. and what if, what super if weird parents. His dick just like looks like a chain and that's what they meant. Like it's like a thing in a chain. I don't even want to say it like that. <laughs> but it's skinny. I don't know. Like so flat. I, okay. So I hired this team to like help me with TikTok because I hadn't started TikTok yet. That's <laughs> going pretty slow, guys. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I have like 4,000 followers. But um, that's like zero on TikTok. I know. I, and I just, like I just started, but it's like, on TikTok, like just starting doesn't matter. You should have like a hundred thousand dollars. I should have so many dollars. Yeah. I should be paid a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> per post. Um, but they posted like the the my ask the answers from the ask the internet. Yeah. Um, from before, and there was one where you're like, "What do you do if your dog like walks in on you having sex or whatever?" And I was like, "Put some peanut butter on," you know, mm-hmm. like. Happy joining as your kid. Like, no, like, kidding. like, all these kids on TikTok are like, this is sick. I'm throwing up. But you should be arrested. It's so funny. I'm Dude, like, oh, oh my I'm God. throwing up is one of my favorite comments. Like, I am throwing up. But they are so young. And you realize, like, okay, so cancel culture. We're not complaining. We're just going with it. Life just happens, right? We're, we're not Bill Maher mad at cancel culture. We're just going to roll with it. But um, you see what it's turning into where the younger generation is now like, don't they take everything literally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like, you. I mean, there's like, what world am I like? First of all, if I'm fucking my dog, it's a secret. Okay, <laughs> that's a fucking. That's to the grave. That's to the grave. That's to the pet cemetery. We're taking that one. Okay. Do you do you remember that guy uh, Shane Dawson who just admitted to like touching his cat? Yeah. Well, the reason I, mean, I know I know who he is is because canceled. they they. Mentioned him in yeah. Africa. Oh, like, really? She's like, and I'm like, no, I'm not. that guy had to put out a statement that said, I have never fucked my cat before. <laughs> like I'm a legitimate, you. like, make a video. Like, because he made a joke. He, I don't know if it was a joke. It was kind of weird. If I remember the circumstances, it was like, uh, you weren't, you are joking, dude, but you look like, you sound like you fucked a cat, dude. You, you had a little too cat. many details about that cat's it, inner. It, it, yeah, it was something about the cat's asshole, I think, and it was like, Mm. I don't know. You know. Cat, In his defense, cat pussy does feel just like human pussy. <laughs> it do, you know what I like about it? It's like the hair comes off with you with it. Uh. It also is like ribbed like their tongues. Uh. <laughs> little, but it is like the fact that you can't like. I'm in it, but it's okay. I don't, if you would fuck an animal, what animal would you fuck? I mean, I think you gotta fuck a monkey, right? It's like the most human like thing. We're getting into some. <laughs> you went there, not me. I don't know. We're gonna use these ones for that. <laughs> Actually, no wait. I want to seem smart. Sir, so I that don't means that you. This goes with my vest. <laughs> I think it's um, gotta be something that like stands upright. Like at least it's like I, a I, my my mind went somewhere aquatic. I'm a top. Aquatic. I need yeah. my. I'm a top. I need mine laying. <laughs> I wanted to just jellyfish. Oh, a jellyfish. A, j- a jellyfish. Yeah. I mean, I've seen a videos like fucking jellyfish. jellyfish. Yeah, I've seen videos like that. You don't know what I got down here. A lot of shocks and stuff. You're you right. Know these days. I don't want to assume. You heard the voice. You heard the voice. <laughs> I, I do like when what people do you want, think what I'm trans. Are you going to fuck a dolphin? I don't know. Dolphin's going to fuck you. No, no. Dolphin. No, I was thinking some of the smaller aquatic. Where dolphins like, will. They have huge they pieces. Rape. I, dolphins I, rape. Yeah, no, they do. Yeah. I've seen dolphins like fuck. It's like their dick is like, it's very like. Big, mm-hmm. it seems. Yeah. <laughs> Judging mm-hmm. by hand size. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You gave it, you gave it a lot. Like, there was some stank on that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like dolphin, dolphin like, dick. Mm-hmm. In there. Mm-hmm. No, there are like I would never. I'm I'm not attracted to animals. <laughs> would you rather fuck an animal or a guy who has like a rotten dick and you know you're gonna get like an STD and he's like a homeless fucking creature? Um, I think I would still bang the homeless guy. <laughs> Probably right. Yeah, I would just figure out a way to not like. I would like make a condom out of something. <laughs> I'd be like, give me that bag you're wearing as a hat. <laughs> give me your bag hat. We're doing this. I would never, no, because it's, you just. Uh, you can't fuck an animal. There's you, a, yeah, there's, you just can't feel good afterwards. Well, like, 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 a, like no person, matter what, you fuck a, a horrible person. What if my PR person, person like, was like, you need to bring this up and you need to get into a deep discussion about how you could never <laughs> fuck an animal. Or how about this? Would you fuck an animal or would you fuck Hitler? I'd fuck Hitler, that tiny little dick. I wouldn't even feel it. <laughs> I'd fuck the shit out of Hitler. He needed it. He needed help. He needed help. Imagine I draw, that you go back I draw a Hitler stash on his balls. You, you, you go back in time and you just suck Hitler's dick until he's not a genocidal maniac. I do always think sometimes when these people, horrible people who kill 
And it's because it's usually like guys. I'm kind of like, have you gotten a blowjob yet? Because like, I think like life would be cooler and you would be more like, wow, life Use the gun to get a blowjob. Use the gun? You know, they help you get what you want sometimes. (laughs) Oh, oh, oh. I thought you were talking about fuck the gun. No. You're talking something different. I got I'm you. I'm just like, God is going to make things yeah. happen. Like, don't, don't murder really me. Do just, just rape me with a <laughs> No, it is. And I oh, feel boy, like it's very are. small dick energy, the school shootings. Like, everything's like so like. Yeah, like those guys are just like teenage kids. Like, you just haven't gotten laid yet, man. Like, do and that. And then they think, and, and then they get that little idea in their head that we're in a, everything's fake. Ugh. And it's made up. And then they like watch The Matrix and they're like. I've never felt so seen. <laughs> those, kids, those kids definitively suck. Yeah, just want to yeah. go on the record. Guys, we'll I don't wanna, I'm going to say something kind of controversial, you but stink. school shooters fucking blow. They are they're just the like the. the you are lame as fuck. <laughs> they blow. It's really, bottom of the barrel. Guys. Do you guys drink the liquid IV? Uh, yeah, occasionally. Oh you know. my god. What? Let's go through our sponsors that suck. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you bled from one of your sponsors? Uh, what, what's the worst sponsor we ever had? One time we had a company, and I think this was actually just a, a, a like a villainous plot. It was a like sperm sample collection company, and they sent to my house. I still have it. Like a, it, it, it looks like a vault. And you open it up and it has like the semen sample cup. And you drink, you and drink you're a little supposed bit. To, the it has like the biohazard. <laughs> you try to guess what the race is. <laughs> <laughs> what did they have for lunch? This tastes like Indian. <laughs> it's a little curry. Ooh. Indian they, people eat curry, so that's not actually like a racist yeah. thing. Do the, does their cup I just taste have different? to literally. <laughs> yeah, your, your glasses are real crooked. I gotta be literal. It's like my ears are crooked or my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> does, Who cares, does, guys? Who gives a shit? <laughs> does different cum taste different? Yeah. I don't know. I've, ne- I've never sampled cum close enough together to know. Really? To taste the difference. You get, you get I good, know I give off a vibe, guys, but you get the vibe's not blend as in quite correct, okay? <laughs> the years the, where I was doing things like that, I was in a blackout. I have no clue what happened. <laughs> Kevin and I want to do, though, because he found that, we want to do, we, we mix our cum together. We send that back and get tested and just see what happens. Just see if they're like you. See, see if they can be like, this is multiple comments. You're schizophrenic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have a personality disorder. <laughs> we 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 are I think we are still planning on getting us our individual comes to But what do tested, they do? They right? just oh they just out. they find out well, what's up? Yeah, like well, I, I think the jackass level. guys did it once here. It's like, yeah, you get your testosterone level, you get you your swim? fertility level, and all that Whatever shit. You well, you be, already have kids. If you want to be yeah, scientific I, about it, I got fucking swimmers. <laughs> I have my I, boyfriend had to do that. He, we got um. I, I froze got my drowners. embryos. I don't think yeah. I yeah. don't think I did. I froze. I got like my eggs frozen, but they put his sperm in it. So because you can find out if it's like got if it's got issues, the egg, and what gender it is, and they're all boys. I've all frozen boys. Really? So annoying. Issues or no? <laughs> is that gonna be you guys? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna raise do, a bunch do of. Do they need fuckers. a job? Uh-huh. Everyone watching them. I don't want you. <laughs> Dude, How did he, is that a whole procedure? It was a fucking it's nightmare. like a surgery? Like It was, yeah, it was essentially a surgery because they like went in and took things out. They scooped me. Yeah, I would sell uh, the ugh. fuck out of my eggs. Yeah. I was a chick. You, you, I thought I don't about, about it now, when but I you used to be able here. to get bank. But you would get like eight grand. Is oh, I thought honestly, it was like a hundred grand. No. Maybe. I think, but honestly, I think your if you eggs, get into like, there's that a, girl sleeping in a car, we'll give you like <laughs> 750 bucks for that egg. No, I think it did matter like if you were like, honestly, I think if you're Jewish or like oh, yeah. specific Definitely. things for, yeah. Yeah. and you could probably get more, but I think if you have a higher education it. and all that shit. But I think you're also talking about being a, a surrogate. No. No, no, no. Like donate. No, you can right. donate you the eggs. No, yeah. no, I know you can donate. Being a surrogate's crazy. Those, those women, it's like, God bless you. Is. Shalom. I mean, you can get a lot. Aslam alaikum. You guys are amazing. That is really why. Surrogates is crazy. I can't believe someone. Well, would do that. When I found out that Kim Kardashian and Kanye's surrogate got like 50K, I'd be like, They're you guys, lying. there's like, no way. 2.5 million. There's no way. There's Easy. No way they didn't give Like, I'm money. sure, I'm sure no they also way. paid for like a lot of their life and stuff, but like if the actual like contract signed, here's the money for it, is anything less than like millions, you're crazy. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. carry your kid, you two, <laughs> from you know a year of all this shit, and I'm gonna get like, like carrying the kid. Like, it's just the dealing with the two of them. Like I'm all gonna, that. I'm have all some crazy it. calls from you two. I imagine. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of singing. There's a lot of weird things happening. <laughs> Preaching all of a sudden in the like, middle for, of the thing. The, there's a sermon. The salary is this a of sermon? like a <laughs> for the salary of like a teacher or some shit. Like, fuck <laughs> off. Semen sermon. There's something there. I can't think of a joke. But. Um, yeah, that is. It's just a weird. I can't even imagine. It's very nice. It's very selfless. Um, there was a woman in an audience once that was kind of. I was doing some crowd work with her about it. She's like, it paid off my student loans. I was like, yes. 
Sure. But you could probably start like an Etsy account. <laughs> <laughs> you could sell like knitwear. I don't know. I yeah. just feel like there's other it's options. It's an extreme. Then. Some yeah. people pay off their student loans by just simply having a job and yeah. not having a baby. I, but I support. I think it's very nice. And who knows? Maybe I want to fucking pop it in a stranger. <laughs> pop those eggs in a stranger at some point. That's how you would do it. You would. I don't think so. But I have no clue. I just wanted to do it because I was feeling like worried and I didn't mm -hmm. want to feel worried just in a weird mood that day felt like but I was but I got eggs. Kim Kardashian's doctor thank you <laughs> I did get the Kim K doc really yeah see yeah Celebrity you're rich doc. now but he um, I'm surprised that like I feel like that's you know you gotta be like in certain circles to even like get that you know you're on that level huh friends with Olivia Munn what are you gonna do <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do sometimes you're friends with Olivia Munn <laughs> <laughs> The <laughs> maniacal laugh. I love it. Sometimes, but now she's down in my world. She had a baby with Melanie. Now you came down to my level, bitch. Did I'm trying ever... to rise up to yours. You came to mine. She's like on tour with Melanie. I'm like, you know you're a star, right? <laughs> That's kind of better than leveling up, I think, is dragging down. And yeah. also, like, but it's oh, a good down. He's doing like trend. arenas and stuff. Yeah, and it's not awesome, really down. Yeah. But... She's a hot bitch. The hot boys like her. But... Melanie you got, got her. her. Oh, you, you I, got her. I got yeah. her. I got her. I got her. I got her. She's mine now. <laughs> Since G4, I've been waiting to get in there. Yeah. <laughs> Since getting eating hot the, dogs. Getting to the G floor, the G spot floor. The G what is floor. what is G4 now? Is that, that one Spike TV? Uh, this girl, Gina, now. My, Kevin this Costner's girl, Gina, on the face. It became, it became Yellowstone, yeah. <laughs> Gina G Taylor Sheridan Darling. just owns that shit now. <laughs> this girl, Gina Darling, I know, is on G4 now. Wait, is that no, no. G4 still exists? No way. Mm -hmm. No way. Yeah, she's on it. What does she Look do? It up. Is it channel still? Look, I'm being a boy channel mom. Look it up, exists? son. <laughs> I thought G4 went <laughs> to Spike. Oh my God, you're stay not... over there, Pat. I'm just sorry, did you take your earphones out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are we bothering you? Are you listening to an audiobook? You better be listening to a podcast I'm on. <laughs> a different podcast. The old episode. Listen are, yeah, to are, you, are you getting like are you getting rich enough that you're being a bitch to people now? Maybe you always were a bitch. So I am like... so torn about that. Not a bitch, but like boundaries. But it's like yeah. I'm torn by because it's like you. There is a level of like. There's a lot of people coming at you asking for things, but it's like I don't. Where do you draw the line? But I don't. I don't. I try not to be rude to people. But I got. I get like sometimes I just get mad. Do you get mad? Like what? Give me an example. I just ignore everyone. Um, my people. It. My people were. I'm selling these sunglasses now at, at my shows and they send my shirts out and then they like gave me a box of these and they're like, take them with you. I'm like, why am I taking, I don't want to, I'm going to New York. I don't want an extra bag yeah, to pack. Yeah. So I was like packing. So I was like, the queen late my could not come down from her ivory tower and carry an extra bag. I can't, I can't have, possibly can do I, that. I have to be honest about my experience with New York. Now I lived here for, for four years. I moved to LA in 2013. I moved back here for one year. I do not remember New York. I don't remember what it's like to live here. I remember I really liked it. But when I come out here, I, like the the weeks preceding, I am panicking. I'm having like, I feel like I'm going on the show alone. I'm like, am I gonna have to make fire? Like, how am I gonna survive? Like, I don't, the elements, I don't. I'm like, do I have to bring a backpack? I need extra clothes, I'm gonna sweat. Do I have like my phone charger? Like, I panic. And then I get here, I'm like, oh, New York's the best. But before I come, I'm like, ah! I can't. How am I going to do it? <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just don't remember what it's like to live here. I turned well, into like a New York just remember this trip? I will. I'm going to remember. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Something let's... memorable has to happen. <laughs> Something like good has to happen that seals it you're into gonna have to, this, you're Somebody, gonna outside, this, you're gonna pull your manginas out. Pull together. your manginas out. <laughs> manginas on camera will do it. You know what's funny? I mean, we Kiss did, each we... other. If you kiss, I will. <laughs> Dude, kiss each other. Just kiss we we, we dock, just kissed last dock, episode. Dock, dock. We're not docking. We're not docking. If you dock, I'll remember. Neither of us have a foreskin, so we can't dock. Yeah. We can stretch. Are you mad that your foreskin was taken from you? No. No, I'm so thankful. Yo, anybody, anybody who's still. <laughs> Anybody that, beating the drum of like uncircumcised is better is just desperately but trying also to convince just people that whatever you suck. have is fine and you can no 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 but nah. you can get circumcised. I had a boyfriend and it's smelly and it's weird. It is a little stinky. Yeah, <laughs> and you do give you do give your girlfriend's BV a lot, and then right. that's stinky. Wait, it's just BV? like a stinky. Bacterial vaginosis. It's like, <laughs> just to put it in perspective, it's like if you ever like like a girl comes into a room, you're like, did someone get like fillet of fish from McDonald's? Like no, what's going on? It's like horrible. really rough, and you're like, what is going? She has B and B. You got smell it like from walking in the I've, room. That's how it's bad. bad. I've known that from like like TV. I have, I have a bad sense of smell, but I've heard that like in, in like uh, pop culture. Never been more attracted to. I <laughs> love a guy with a bad sense of smell. How about all this shit about Marilyn Monroe coming out? You heard that? 
What's it's actually that? been out a, a couple, every couple of years. It kind of goes viral, but because the movie on Netflix is coming out, a lot of the shit's being stirred up about her. She was like, "What well, what we're learning probably is that she was just clinically depressed." Yeah. But back then, you're just called gross. So she was like, she wouldn't shower for days at a time. She used to shit and fart everywhere. She used to eat food in bed and leave the dishes all in the bed and everything. Dimaggio used to like complain, like this chick smells so bad. She but at the same the time, I'm like, Jake, can I K and, like, and Dimaggio are fucking her, you know? Yeah. I, to, to well, me, I don't know it what the makes smelly... her stock rise. Like, I think you're different... so disgusting, but obviously you must have been. But some the guys, I feel bitch. like like dirty girls. I mean, I know a lot don't, but I it's know, like this sounded like bad. I had a boyfriend or a guy. I wasn't. We weren't like exclusive or anything. But when we first started dating, he was like, told me he had a really good sense of smell, and I was like, never comfortable. I was like <laughs> raw from washing my pussy every time I went in the mirror. Like, I'm not gonna be stinky pussy bitch. Okay? I'm not going in your roster, as stinky how, pussy. How, bitch. Yeah, how bad like. I think you got to be crazy unaware to have a smelly pussy. Just wash your like that's yeah. got yeah like that's got to be like the like number one thing you have you like do. a hormone imbalance right. But even that, then it's like I'm going to the doctor and figuring this shit out. But if guys keep fucking you and you guys will just fuck anyone, I mean, you really will just stick your dick in most things. <laughs> yeah. So you're just reinforcing that, but but you know you don't want to go like. Ugh. I had a friend though that, um, and she's not like a stinky pussy girl. She's a nice girl, but I guess she had a. A weird moment, but she said one guy was like, I have to stop sleeping with you because you have stinky pussy. your pussy smells. But maybe well, they don't have magic pheromones. Then she's an SPG. Would you rather have a guy say that? Yes, I like, think so, because then it's like, you can up. fix you're this. Like, We're not going to be It's a fixable there. thing. If I tell you your personality so sucks, See, I don't. The, the hurt and the rejection of that. When someone tells you, when, when someone's breaking up with me, don't tell me why it's really happening. Be like, it's not me, it's you. I mean, yeah. it's not you, it's me. Yeah. I guess it's something so fixable. And really easy. What if like you're perfect, except your shit smells like fish? It's like, but I mean, we can fix this by you tomorrow. Smell like fucking spicy taquitos all the time too. I mean, you're it's welcome not, then. They're, they're yeah, that shit sounds yeah, fucking nasty about? too. That sounds, that sounds there is but a regular that, like, level I, of nasty. You know what I mean? Where yeah, it's you like, need unless a you're banging of, right after the shower, which is yeah. like, now you're like being all clinical about. No, things. that dude, that's disgusting. Banging after the shower. I've I said that recently. I like. I like a little salt you, on the rim. Yeah, you gotta no. have a little, a, little salt. <laughs> <laughs> a lemon, yeah. a lime. I mean, a little simp squirt, a little simple yeah. syrup up yeah. there. If you get out of the shower and oh. and you want to fuck, like you have to go run a couple laps around the house first. That's get, okay. Get a little Are you a foot fetish guy? A foot fetish guy? Are you? No, because foot fetish I'm, guys. I'm I feel not, like some I of them. I think people are either repulsed by them or like no, like I'm, they're fine. They're yeah. I'll pop a toe in. That's yeah, what you said before. I pop yeah. a toe in. Like Your own like toe? like. No, I'll like look if you're oh, if in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, your yeah. feet are Just fucking bouncing around up here. I, I put a, a I put a toe in in once in a, in a hot tub. I put a toe in. Yeah, <laughs> like this. Do you like like her feet are like a pussy? Oh, oh, I don't I've never think I've done, done that. that. No, I would. I will. I will yeah, fuck so anything. Like, that's kind of like I'm like that. Actually, is like ooh. Let me take a break. I'm over here like. It's easy for you. <laughs> yeah, like, it's good for everybody. <laughs> I'll fuck behind keep that the rhythm, knee. Girl. I'm fucking like, armpit, yeah. whatever. You know, it's like anything that just squeezes together. It's like we can fuck. Well, that. sometimes guys are like, I want to see your armpits online too. It's like very funny how many parts of your body are armpits are for people. I don't think I, I. I don't have an armpit thing. I can tell you that. I pixelated an armpit a few times. The feet just make me laugh so hard. <laughs> it's just they're so into it. It's not like. Like do your thing. It's I'm not, I'm shaming you in a funny way because it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not not shaming you, but no, I'm I mean, laughing about it. Don't get me wrong. You're a shameful but piece that's of what shit. What you like about a fetish, right? A fetish. Yeah. If ever, it's all accepted, then it's not like kinky. It's your Agreed. kink. Agreed. Your kink yeah. is that people are like, oh, you're nasty. Right. <laughs> right. You're right. I, am I think bad. I think feet is getting like played out. I think it's like it's you crazy. don't have a foot fetish. It's crazy. You know? It's wild. So but many people have it. I just never knew. And there was one time where um, my boyfriend and I were out at lunch and I was wearing, because I'll have my feet out. Like, I'm not really hiding my feet. If someone finds me on the street and sees my feet. And Are you on pick, Wiki Feet? Yes, I am. Well, that's where it started. I'm on Wiki Feet. Yeah. What's your score? It's like 4.5. Is that bad? Well, is that out of 10 uh, or 5? 5. Oh, that's good. Eh? Yeah, I, I do all right. Yeah, I'd watch that rotten. Uh, they rotten may have put it down, but you, got, you should read the comments. It's so funny. They're so mad at me. <laughs> For They're boring. like people are protesting. They're like, take her down because I, I they think I'm shaming them by by pixelating my feet. <laughs> but it's like, why? But they're my feet. I should be allowed to like you. You have a fetish that we why didn't is know there about. A dick right there. Jeez. Is there really? <laughs> why did you react like it was gonna be what, put in your mouth? Because look at. It. I mean, that's <laughs> weird. Yeah, they have weird. <laughs> You're like, whoa, in there. whoa, blocking the screen. <laughs> but if you yeah, catch the feet and they go through right and they find them, and it's like you know, it's fine. You're but, like four point nine. That's almost the full star right there. You're she edging because they're edging. 101 they're edging. people. They're edging on fire. 202 total votes. 100 said beautiful. 101 said beautiful. 58 said nice. 19 said okay. 
10 said bad, 14 said ugly. They're really mad. Fuck those but the 14 yeah, are know. mad that I'm pixelating yeah. them. But also, it's okay. If you didn't like my feet, I, I give you permission to not like my feet. <laughs> You're welcome to not like my body parts. <laughs> I forgive you. Where are I've the, been like, where, I've been doing all pictures? this work. Cause, I mean, I know you guys obviously don't look at comments because you wouldn't be here. Um, <laughs> but you know, like, they're brutal. And it's like, I've been really like getting deeply into like why would I look at comments and because you guys do live shows yeah so you one. if you want to look that's a great for shot fucking Whitney this bitch Whitney I can't tell you how many times Whitney has posted awful my feet. pictures you she's the most the hideous picture I know I'm always like slumped over it's like my fattest I've ever been she always catches me like the fattest I've ever been just post it and my feet are in it yeah she's such yeah a but bitch. you're getting fucking hotter every day now <laughs> well, you know what it is? There's a medium between being skinny and being COVID fat that's good. Yeah. You gotta be yeah. like in between. Cause if you go skinny or like the tits go. Yeah. You can't I go tits first into a diet. It's not good. <laughs> like I'm really first. like I'm I'm Stephanie from Baywatch real fast. <laughs> Which is fine. It's fine. Okay. We're not body but I don't shaming. Want, it is funny though, like when guys will call me ugly. Like oh, I can't talk about this because I don't want to talk about it anymore. But well, it's just was I'm trying to lay something to rest that happened. But there well, like there were people that were like stick a dynamite on the whole fucking podcast world. <laughs> that <laughs> But anyway, so it's in question whether I'm hot or not on the internet. Mm. Whether I deserve to be speaking about people hitting on me or whatever. Oh, I got it. And um yeah, yeah, yeah. and so um wait, what were Well, I mean you're this? ugly, but you know, you're getting No, but hotter. I like literally it's like it's okay. <laughs> I'm ugly, it's okay. But when guys are like, there's no way she's fucking whatever, I'm like, you know, I could just get fake tits and be the thing you guys like. I could just buy them. Yeah, yeah. It's not like a hard thing. I to also do. think people who are like, she's not hot or she's not having sex because she doesn't have boobs is kind of like, are we like in sixth grade they still? They might actually like, be. Though. That's what I realized. It's might, like yeah. whenever I'm like getting mine, I'm like, oh my God, is this like a third? Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. I, there have been Dude, times where I've been arguing. And like, also just like yeah. grace. Right. I want to give people <laughs> grace. You're just on the internet. You're just fucking uh, around. I have, I have argued with people. And then, like, seen in their bio that it's, like, HS, like, high school class of, like, 23. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. I've spent, like, an hour arguing with, like, a 16-year-old right now. Holy I fucking know. shit. And it's even if they're older, too, it's just, like, it's okay. You can say what you want. It's all right. Like, I don't want to, like, it's, like, almost mean to be mad at trolls. It's, like, just have your day. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, Why am I them. taking it personally? I don't, I don't let Fuck them that. have their, like, I don't, I don't, I don't give them grace. But I don't interact either. I don't. That you just have to ignore. Yeah. I guess. But I also, I don't know. But I'm like, why am I going in there? Because there's really nothing there for me. Because I do meet and greets at my shows and stuff. I get to meet all the fans and yeah. talk to them and have these like really cool combos with them. So it's like, I don't need to like, if it's for my ego's boost, I don't really need to go there. So I'm definitely going there to cut. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm going into right. like I You're want, for I'll find that and then I'll yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> right about me all the all along. Yeah, yeah. I am a dumb bitch, yeah, slut yeah, yeah. whore. <laughs> Fuck, I shouldn't be here. Ro Ron yeah, White I was like talking that describing uh, your cut, like you're, yeah, yeah. You're, it's you're, like I'm yeah, choosing that, and then I'm like, so I, I do hypnosis, and I've been working with my hypnotist where I'm like, I got to get like to the bottom of that because it's really low self esteem shit. It's like really kind of pathetic. Like I'm trying to like be this like. Bad, bad bitch, bitch in the world, yeah. and then I'm like, but you're still complaining about comments yeah. about what some, yeah. and everyone complains about him. You know, it's sure. like this hacky it's kind of natural, thing but it, it is it is funny that it's like you're trying to that that actually was what made me uh, like finally let go of of comments and stuff when I was like, this is hurting my money. This is bad for business right. if I if I it's, agonize you're not over being this. Who you, you are, know? you're then like, right? I realize what it is is like it's and it's it's from like whatever childhood bullshit. You know, like you get yelled at when you're a kid, and then you're like. You take it on because yeah. your fucking brain you is all mushy. Or like, <laughs> I guess I am a fucking bitch. Right, right. But um, <laughs> oh, I'm selfish. But um, so uh, like, it's just I I, I forgot what I was gonna say. Hell I yeah. have okay. I watched the challenge. You guys watch the challenge? <laughs> yeah. No. Or well, back you know in the day, okay. like. So TJ is always like forgetting what he's saying. You know, like he's <laughs> always like TJ. I Lavin fucking is love fucking TJ man. so much. He's a yeah. legend. He's a king. I fucking love everything. He fucking does like acoustic guitar sets on his Instagram. And I'm like, yes, TJ, <laughs> go. Sing that Jack Johnson bitch. Sing it. I love, love him. Love him. But he'll just every once in a while he'll just be like in the middle of like announcing something on the show and he just like gazes <laughs> off and like forgets what he's talking about from his BMX bangy head bangies. Yeah. And um my so my boyfriend whenever I travel he's like you're TJ you're TJ <laughs> 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 That's I, I do that. I just like, I just, I've stopped even like, I feel people like you're trying to snap. Like, wait, what was it? I just, I'm like, yep, oh, that's it. It's gone. I don't, yeah. I do that. It'll come even, back. It'll come back or it won't. If it, yeah. If it mattered, it'll come back. If it didn't, 
if it doesn't, but it was like comments. I was talking about something with the oh low self esteem mm. stuff where it's like I I'm like oh I'm looking for other people's approval before mm. I can decide whether I like myself. Like how pathetic is that? Mm, yeah. So then I'm changing. Like what am I? I'm not going to change who I am. So it's like why am I reading? It's like they're not going to give me any information that like yeah it's truly or a it like bums me out. It makes me self conscious or yeah. something. But I I don't want to be someone that's like I never listen to my fans. I don't because I do right. like my fans. Yeah. They're cool. That's what sucks is that you, you can't like. There is some good feedback, and sometimes it provides material or whatever. Uh, and but then it, you know you can't you can't get that without yeah. some of the bad. I used to pay my assistant to go through and read the comments really? and just send me the good ones. <laughs> is that not the best idea ever? But then she everyone quit. just got a new job. She quit. She quit Hollywood and moved to Wisconsin. I was like, were they that bad? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I better look back and see how bad those comments were. Holy shit! She was like, I can't take it. <laughs> it's like one of those AI bots. I think that someone did it with like an AI bot where they made it read Reddit. Yeah. And like within a week, it was a white supremacist. <laughs> it was like, it was crazy. I forget if it was a white supremacist, but like it became something like pure evil <laughs> in like a week of reading internet comments. It was crazy. I love the internet, man. It's so it fucked is, up. It is just, you know, you don't want to take it away either. I want there to no. be both sides. I, want I, I also, either. I have some sick, like I take some sort of sick pride in the fact of like, like if I see someone like, quit social media I'm like you pussy you couldn't handle it yeah. I'm still here I'm still taking these well, shots you can quit in your head you don't have to like yeah yeah make it a big thing and when you make it a thing it's like then you're drawing more attention to it and like even us talking about it is like drawing weird attention to like negative right. things but yeah. then you're like not focusing on like the good things and the fun and like you're making people laugh or whatever mm -hmm. sorry this got it's got deep <laughs> sorry guys I'll save it for Whitney's podcast <laughs> talk about our ancestral the heritage <laughs> trauma. <laughs> she's, like, she's got keywords. I'm always like, I have to bring like, Yo, a dictionary She's a fucking, with me. yeah, she's a doctor. I'm like, it's I, like bitch, I, don't be fooled by the glasses. You know I can't read. It's fucking rude. I'm always like, don't be a fucking asshole. What is, was that a real one you just dropped? Ancestral what? Heritage trauma? Ancestral. She's, I think oh, she ancestral. says. ancestral. She says yeah. ancestral she's, trauma. She's all about like, yeah, like, like you're fucked up from, you know, generations of shit fucking Which is happening real, to I you. Guess. Yeah, Sure. But Definitely. I like to just I don't I think like, I, don't I, just like, I don't like to I don't like doing that kind of stuff. We've talked about it before. Digging, like, like digging into the. I don't, I don't need to know what you don't why I am the way I am. Yes, like, whatever, I agree. Whatever, dude. It's fucking. It is. But like, I, I, I can I definitely like, like uh, I'll. There's certain things about myself that I look at my dad and I'm like, yep, well, that's where that comes from. Oh, it's crazy. And, like, no, I'm my dad. You know, like, there's I. I can't call my dad and be like, I just dadded all day. Like, yeah, yeah, all day. yeah. And I'm sure he does that. But he cracks me up. We watch. We were watching a a home video. From when we were four, we we're singing Little Bunny Foo Foo. And so he's watching as, in, like, as you know, he was probably 75 at the time. And he's watching when he was like 40. And <laughs> so we're watching these. He was like 45. I don't want to make myself sound older than I am. I was going to say that everything just, <laughs> just saved us. <laughs> I, I could hear story. all that. Like, it just got quiet over there. Zach sprung into action. Yeah. Got it. Well, I don't have a spot till 9.30. We're good. <laughs> oh, I, my flight, tonight? my flight, I'm at the stand. My stand. flight got canceled. I was supposed to leave yesterday at noon and get here at 8. It was going to be awesome. Bonnie, Mafario, and I were going to smoke a joint, have fun. Mm -hmm. And then they canceled my flight, and it, the next one I could get was at 10 p.m., so I red-eyed. Ugh. That was, didn't you say, Pav, someone, like, the, you, when your flights were getting canceled, one of the flight people were like, Hey, just so you know, you're never gonna get an on-time flight all summer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> what what is going on? Is it is it a COVID thing? Is it a, a recession thing? Is they're charging? I spent five thousand dollars on my ticket. What? They're charging so much money. I'm not wait. I'm not leaving it up to God to get me an, uh, an upgrade. Big I don't care. Literally, like yeah. because I'm not. It, it really is about energy, though. It's like it's not that I like. I'm probably gonna. This might be a wash this weekend I'm doing in West Nyack, but it's like I got I'm not gonna if I had gotten fucking coach and waited for an upgrade, there's no way I was getting the upgrade with that flight getting canceled. Yeah, yeah. I would have been in a middle seat in fucking coach you overnight, have to come on the show, I'll fucking you miserable. Yeah. I would have been sick or something. You yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah. like no. No, there are certain things once you get enough money, it really is worth But when you pay five thousand dollars and you that's get there a, and the lot. paint's like chipping off the bed you're leaning back in. Like, <laughs> Why is the paint chipping? <laughs> Excuse me. This is not like the regular twelve hundred dollar flight. Okay, <laughs> you guys up the prices, but they're yeah, they're just like the pr the prices of tickets are insane. But I'm just gonna not let it change my. You you said that before though, don't don't you say that first class like paying for that is one of the first things that you like were willing to spend money on or something like that. Yeah, and then because I struggle with it, and then I'm like, 
you know, if I'm trying to be someone who, or I want to be someone who doesn't worry about money, then I have to not be worry about money. Yeah. <laughs> it is and like, just trust I, I, I think when I'm in, when I'm in first class, actually, I don't know. So, some, sometimes first class, I'm like, this is, this not is like the it. exact same chair. No, but like, but I went honestly, on like Virgin Airlines first class. The first time I was on it, it was like, I'm in this pod with like yeah. purple lighting and they're, you know, and I was like, this is fucking, I wish we could just, I don't even want to go to Vegas anymore. Just fly yes, the plane around. I know it is. And that, very, that's yeah, worth someone it. Someone show me your glittered asshole. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the flight attendants just rip their buttholes over. <laughs> right. Like now I got the basic <laughs> Vegas experience. Let's go. Just leave an there. asshole right there. But, but I could imagine like, uh, if you know, you drop $5,000 and you get off the plane, you're like, okay, well, that money's just gone, and now I'm. Well, sometimes just here. the it's plane's like, not good, but I still fly it anyway because there's little subtle things like they're yeah, just nicer to you, up, and it yeah. is fucked up. It actually is fucked up because they treat I feel you like <laughs> the regular first class when there's no like lay down stuff and it's just like a bigger seat and there's just two seats. That's what coach should be. Yeah, yeah it should yeah. just be like people are nice to you. <laughs> You're not getting coughed on from both directions, just one direction. <laughs> right. You know, like yeah. they still give you food. Like they kind of just like do what they used to do on planes <laughs> in first class now. But I just do it anyway, just because I don't know. Dude, it's we just, gotta play we the part. We take such yeah. fucking shit from those motherfuckers. It's kind of like what's happening now like, with the post COVID. We're like businesses realize like once they've it's it's the opposite of giving mouse a cookie. You've taken a cookie from a mouse and you're like, now they're just used to this. Right, so we're we not going to give it back. back. And then we take this back and we take yeah. this back and we take this back yeah. until it's just like regular. Like, they, we, they, they, like, we'll give you a steak dinner. You can smoke a cigarette. And, we'll, and we'll the stewardess will blow you. And then and then now it's like we get on a plane and it's like fucking. And it's a steward and he still blows you. <laughs> He's the one smoking the cigarette. It's like, can I get a drag? We had we had a flight that was like, they, there was no meal. And it was, it was a two hour and 50 minute flight, I think, or something like that. And I was like, can I buy, I'm starving, Like, can I buy the sandwich? And they're like, sorry, we only sell sandwiches on three-hour flights. And I was like, it's a two, I'm on the flight for you three and a half hours. We're talking gate to gate. We're in the air for 250. Um, just give me, let me buy the sandwich from you. How about, like, how about sorry, the, the no TV down a cross-country flight, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were like, we, we offer Wi-Fi that you can use on your tablets. I was like, okay, but what, what about the TV? Just but fucking also, put that on there too. How about when the internet doesn't work and I'm like, what am I, a fucking peasant? What the fuck is going on here? I'm just supposed to think. Yeah, you think I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna sit and think. <laughs> I'm gonna read up. This, this steward's about to have their worst flight ever if you want me to just sit here. Because <laughs> oh, well, guess what? She's got a baby to babysit now. I There was a baby in front of me in first class and she started crying. I, I sleep through anything, so it's fine. But I was thinking, I was like, people that are light sleepers, like, that's gotta suck on a red eye. And you paid. I probably am the. I think I'm the only one that paid full price for that fucking first class. I really do because when I first got it, there were no like. I think those were all upgrades. But I was like, I can't risk it. I just can't. Thank God I didn't. But thank God I didn't. The baby and the. I'm just thinking like that sucks if you like. Then your whole yeah, night. Yeah, but can't. also it's they like should be you're, in the you're, fucking you're still on a form of public transportation. Yeah, but baby's got to be in coach. <laughs> Sorry, baby. You gotta be in coach. You haven't earned this. Your mom earned if you, this. If you, didn't you, earn this. Are, if you don't want to have anything. No, no, no fucking fuck nepotism. It's yeah. nepotism. <laughs> baby, show me where you made this money. And if you're a Gerber baby and you did this, if you made this money, baby, and I know you watch Barstool. I know you watch. <laughs> I, know you watch um, I wonder what the Gerber baby gotta be. turned out to be. 75 years old at this point. Yeah, and oh, but probably oh, rich, right? Dead. Still has no dead. Yeah. <laughs> a little hair, a little Imagine wind. the Gerber baby was just like a raging probably slut. Probably hideous. The Gerber baby was probably hideous. <laughs> Having just like hot tons babies of problems. are always ugly. like I got baby issues from when I was a kid, and I never lived up to my six month old self, so I just suck a lot of dicks. And they're like now I'm in like the gutter addicted to like they, oh, they infantilized It died yeah. two weeks ago. It died two serious? weeks ago. Two weeks, two weeks this ago. happens to me all the time. No <laughs> this way. happens to me all the time. I knew it was dead. I said dead. You guys said seventies. I knew that fucking thing. Well, it just happened. That thing. Yeah. I knew that thing was dead. Yeah, you said yeah. it, and he said that thing. <laughs> it just died two weeks ago. Yeah, sorry. That's what happens when we get famous. We dehumanize you. What's, her, now. what's her name? Uh, Anna Turner Cook. I'm surprised it wasn't like Gertrude, Maud, you know. Wait, you guys. Agnes. That shows you how money does change things. That baby had money, okay? Lived to 95. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, now you're going to live like longer than like 52. Rogan said. Rogan said on his podcast once that he thinks he's going to live to 110. <laughs> And honestly, if there's a guy out there who knows, he's, what he's in hyperbolic in his fucking, chamber. He's yeah, in chambers he's got all the time. Injections like, in his. He looks like. But a, I like do a whatever he character. does. Like I go to this place at the mall. <laughs> it's like the mall version of Rogan's life. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like giving me like NAD. I have no clue what these things do. I swear to God, I think you guys. I think Rogan could tell you guys to jump off a cliff and you do it. 
Whatever Rogan says to put in the body, I go, it's what do the rich people do? Give it to yeah. me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Charge it to the Amex. <laughs> My fucking business manager's assistant sent me an email last month because I had um, overspent because I had to freeze my eggs and stuff. And he was like, you got to slow down. And I sent him a picture from the Louis Vuitton. I went. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I don't. But money, I mean, money managers down. tell you what to do with your money. Fuck that. He was panicking. He was like, "What?" Are you? And I'm like, "It's fine." But I'm you like, tell him, "Shut like, up." You tell him, "Like, look, I'll just make more. I'll make more." That's what. That's what. Like, I'll just, I'll just make more money. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, uh, you. Uh, and if, if I can't make scarcity it, scarcity was sell like what, what made me live in my car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like being scared of like I had to like literally start doing subconscious reprogramming to figure out how to make money. It's like in your head. I know that's controversial, but. I don't know. It's, it's not controversial. It's just it's just above my pay grade. I'm like I don't know what it means. Well, because you have to <laughs> exactly. meditate have to on it. Through. No, because it's like I don't know. I just didn't. I didn't think I like deserved money. <laughs> Start crying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm relapsing right now. I stopped drinking coffee, and I'm, I may as well be on fucking. I was gonna say you are off on fucking walls. Yeah. I'm always like this with you guys. Yeah. I like your energy. You let me interrupt. You can keep talking. Like yeah. you know. But it's you. Fun. How long were you off of coffee or caffeine? It's been like. Maybe almost a month. So I'm jacked the fuck up. Yeah. And it's mint infused, so it tastes cool. Uh, I didn't know you could do that. that sounds I've never um, never been a caffeine. I don't do, do the coffee. I'm not you like just, a, But it's good to not it's good to know if you're tired or not. You just get enough sleep? I guess so. Well, he doesn't prob- have any. Probably not. I don't know. No. I just, I just get up and go. I, just got, I do no what demons. I gotta do. And I, I do lay that down. This guy don't have demons. Why not? That's what I like oh. Is that on my line? Maybe that's what he's, he's fueled on. Yeah. Wait, doesn't... are you blonde or ginger? You said you It's you a little bit of both. We're having like the same interview. Yeah. It's very bizarre. <laughs> no, we did this before. No, 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 no. No, but before you, we talked about it. But I did this with him too because he's ambiguous. It's like not a ginger, but like not the gross guy. The mustache is a little gingery. The top No, but I like gingers because they've been through some shit, dude. They got bullied. I love gingers. Like, you fucking. Got fucked up. <laughs> They're fucking mad, dude. They have like <laughs> anger inside. Like, please, release, release. <laughs> I, I, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't I, matter. But I was thinking maybe the demons are a ginger. The s- demons thing. are weird. But do you wake up in the middle of the night ever? Oh, oh I had. I oh, had, really? I had hour, some yeah. nightmares. What are you worrying uh, about? Things last you night did, I was you didn't do things you have to do. Uh, Is it past or <sighs> future? How I'm gonna be murdered the next day? How oh. not like and not not literally, but how like. How the next day is gonna fucking kill me. How the next day and did stop. someone die when you were young? Uh, did someone not, drop dead when you were young? Not young, young. No, I, I was younger. That's what it is. <laughs> if someone, if you're, I was, like, a, I was like, I was like twenty. You're like, I can't trust <laughs> life. <laughs> you learned it. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's it. But if you die, you'll be fine. <sighs> One day. You'll be fine. God willing. You won't even know, dude. God willing. I've done so many hallucinogens. I feel like I know. I, this sounds so crazy, but I feel like I know what it feels like to die, and it's awesome. Why do you think good. you know that? Just from all the hallucinogens I've done. Oh, hallucinogens. Like I've had like feelings where I th- like I thought I was dead, but it feels you like fizzle out. It feels you like you done really ayahuasca. Mm-hmm. Do you like what, and DMT. It's like a four day thing, or you just done it once. I did like, it. Why well, did it? Is it like a times. whole thing? No, but yeah. I, like when you do it, isn't it supposed to be like six night hours. after night after night? Yeah, but I did it. So it was yeah. It was I did it six times, six hours, two nights in a row, two days in a row. And so you do it. And it ends, and then you you were eager to go do it and again. And then I drove home. I was in San Diego. I drove home. I was yeah, because like, it does I just end, right? I was, like, like, <laughs> I was like, life is so beautiful. I was like, looking at the mountains, like, oh, my God. And I, like, forgot to not turn. So- the wheel, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but you liked it enough. Like, it wasn't like, I'm not doing that again. Like, you went back for the same I night. I feel like I might not do it again now. I feel like maybe I've done it enough. But Did um, you have, like, a you puke and the shit? world is different now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I, I think I. Yeah, yeah. And did you puke a lot? Yeah, I puked in a bucket. Yeah. Were you like violently sick though, or is like you just no? Puked it's like because sometimes it, I hear that I'm like I don't want to be sick for like it doesn't you know, three feel hours. like that type of throw up. But I never had. A, I always pull the trigger if I have a headache or you know a wedding to go to and the dress is too small. <laughs> but I no, but I do. I like if I have like a headache, I always make myself like since I was a kid, I was really headachey and it always like relieved pressure. So I'm not someone that's ever. And when I would drink, when I used to drink, so you're okay. Puking. I knew I could keep like partying if I right, fucking pull right. the trigger. So it's not a big deal for you. Yeah. So I don't care. But it's not the same type of throw up. It's not like that. Like huh, you know, like I've. It's not like the. It's more. It always felt like. I figured out something kind of like dark inside me and it Get had to it come out. out. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So it's like an enjoyable puke. It's like yeah. a black puke. Yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. I've actually heard that, but like, it really is like demonic. But it was really cool. It was like, it was I really feel like if I got demons cool. though, you're going to live through the, the, the demons it's painful. and the trips. It's hard. Yeah. You got to go through it. But like, can it leave you fucked up afterwards? I, I think so, yeah. yeah that's but why I, but I I've know. never met anyone that it's happened to, but I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure like there's if people you, that. You confront too much not, of your demons. But I think it's if you're like, 
if it triggers a mental illness you already had or something, yeah. you know, like I don't think but it like see, gives I don't know if you I'm, a mental is, illness. Is it worth that? You know, I think it's when, okay to not do it. How much would suck if you were like, yeah, let me try it, and it's like, oh, never mind, I'm bipolar now. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Fuck. I don't. I Good. Don't think was it worth it, dickhead? You know, I don't think it's something everyone has to do. It's like if you want to do it, you know, and it also is something. It's kind of hard to find. Yeah, you got to go out of, out of and the country, so right? you. Well, mine, my guy just showed up. He, my shaman was just in my audience at the comedy oh, store wow. once, and he was doing something like at this retreat center in San Diego, so I was able to go. It was really cool. And I love him, and the last time I did ayahuasca, it was kind of... What is it, by the way? You drink it or you smoke you it? You drink it, it's like a root, like a powder and then that, they yeah. mix it with something yeah, yeah, yeah. else. And right. So DMT is the is the main hallucinogen, and then they mix it with something else. With the, I think the ayahuasca is something they mix it with, and then mm -hmm. that makes it, draws it out. Because DMT, when you smoke it, is only... Like ten minutes at the most. God, oh, and then maybe this is I a do drama. that. Yeah. Ten minutes. DMT like... is pretty cool. They're they're both really. It's like really unbelievable. You just go like, holy shit, this is crazy. Yeah, like you just yeah. like, I really realize, and I forget this a lot when I have anxiety. But it's like, we really are like everything's happening exactly at the time it's supposed to happen. Everything's like exactly as it is, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's kind of all happening at once. And you realize like, you kind of make up these things to feel, like solid and tangible but we are just like all energy and oh you're going cali on us oh yeah you're you're you're, you're gone. gone you're going cali. oh There's i have several much. shamans i have several yeah shamans. you got shamans <laughs> there's california shamans. shamans and rogan in that brain and have, it's I just rogan don't know what i know rogan don't know what i know rogan <laughs> he just talked to everyone that's ever done it right i know when i go on rogan i'm like don't bring up ayahuasca like i have to bite my tongue like, do not be that bitch do not be that bitch but you are like rogan do it what the fuck everyone's talked to you about it do it yeah yeah all right, we're going to go next door and do Answer the Internet. Okay. Cool. Can't you want to plug to get... anything? Oh, they didn't change my fucking website. Cool. All right. <laughs> Fired. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I am on the road. It's so fun. I'm having such a good time. Crazy meet and greets. I will sign all of your weird little nubs and things you hate <laughs> about yourself. Um, you can see me um, at the end of July, July 29th. I'll be at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas. In August, I'll be in Springfield, Missouri. I'll be in September. I'm going to be in Pittsburgh, Arizona. I'll be in Calusa, California at the Calusa Casino. We'll fucking get rich together. And then I have a bunch of other dates. Go to AnnieLetterman.com slash shows. I also have my new Annie merch. fucking Letterman merch. Yeah. What's up? You can yeah. get that online. Follow me on TikTok. It's embarrassing. My following's humiliating. <laughs> and Instagram and all that. And but watch my podcast, Trash Tuesday. And I have a Spotify show coming out Ooh, on that? the 11th, July, J June 11th, what July 11th. It's like, it's called Don't Bore Me with Annie Letterman. It's just like a audio thing where I'm going to just fuck with my fans. Cool. Be interactive and fun. Make sure you subscribe to KFC Radio on YouTube to get all the video content. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, and make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever new video content drops. I want to say something, but the video has to be fast. That's it.